Welcome to seventh chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna, a brave warrior, found himself facing a moral dilemma on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. The air was thick with tension, and the ground beneath him seemed to tremble with the weight of the impending battle. In a sorrow, Arjuna said, O Lord Sri Krishna, I am deeply troubled. How can I fight against my own family? How can I fight my own brothers? My heart is heavy with sorrow and confusion. Krishna, I can't fight against them. Lord Sri Krishna stood still and looked into Arjuna's eyes and said, Arjuna, listen carefully. I will unveil the path to true knowledge and liberation. This wisdom is not just for the battlefield, but for the journey of life itself and the illusory nature of the material world. The distractions and illusions of daily life often cloud our judgment and understanding. Understand, Arjuna, that this knowledge is the key to unlocking your true potential. It will illuminate your path and dispel the darkness of ignorance and lead you to inner peace. Embrace this wisdom and you will find the strength to face any challenge with courage and serenity. Then Lord Sri Krishna started to explain the Bhagavad Gita 7th chapter, the Yoga of Knowledge and Wisdom. Arjuna, in this chapter, I will reveal the knowledge of the sevenfold yoga. I am eager to understand, Krishna. Please tell me more. These seven aspects are knowledge, the knowable, the knower, devotion, the field of experience, the individual consciousness, and maya, the illusion that clouds our perception. By understanding these elements, you will attain liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Krishna, what is the nature of this supreme knowledge? Arjuna, the supreme knowledge is the realization that I, the supreme personality of Godhead, am the ultimate reality. Everything emanates from me and everything ultimately merges back into me. To truly know me is to transcend the limitations of the material world. This knowledge, Arjuna, is the key to liberation. It is the path to eternal bliss and freedom from suffering. But Krishna, how can one attain this supreme knowledge? What is the path to reach you? Arjuna, the path to me is through devotion, through unwavering love and surrender. When you dedicate your actions to me, when you see me in everything and everything in me, you purify your heart and attain true knowledge. Devotion, Arjuna, is the most natural and direct path to me. It is through love that you will ultimately realize my true nature. Krishna, what is Maya? How does it influence our perception and understanding of the world around us? How does it obstruct our understanding of the ultimate truth and keep us bound to the material world? Maya, Arjuna, is the illusory energy that pervades the material world. It is a powerful force that shapes our experiences and perceptions. It is the veil that conceals my true nature, creating the illusion of separation and duality. This veil makes the transient appear permanent and the unreal seem real. Just as a magician's tricks appear real but are ultimately an illusion, Maya creates the perception of a world separate from me. It is a grand illusion that captivates the mind and senses. Through the practice of yoga and devotion, you can pierce through this veil of illusion and realize the ultimate truth. By cultivating inner awareness and spiritual discipline, you can see beyond the illusions and connect with the divine essence. As the sun began to set on the battlefield, the sky was painted in hues of orange and red. Krishna concluded his profound discourse on the seventh chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, imparting wisdom that transcended the immediate turmoil of the battlefield. Arjuna, his heart filled with newfound understanding, felt the weight of his doubts lift. The teachings of Krishna resonated deeply within him, providing clarity and purpose amidst the chaos. Chapter 7 through the divine dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna, unveils the path to liberation through knowledge and devotion. It emphasizes the importance of understanding the true nature of the self and the universe. It teaches us that the Supreme Godhead is the ultimate reality and that Maya, the illusion, can be overcome through unwavering devotion and the pursuit of true knowledge. This chapter highlights the significance of recognizing the Divine Presence in all aspects of life. By realizing our inherent connection with the Divine, we attain liberation from suffering and experience eternal bliss. The teachings encourage us to look beyond the material world and seek the eternal truth that lies within. Through meditation, devotion and the pursuit of wisdom, 
we can transcend the illusions of the physical realm and embrace the ultimate reality.